You've seen it a million times before. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? Not necessarily. Think about the shapes that you're familiar with. Triangles, squares, circles. These exist in the flat plane that you've probably learned all about throughout elementary, middle, and even high school. You've got a standard set of x and y axes, and each shape can be described by a set of x and y coordinates. This standard type of geometry is called Euclidean geometry, and it's home to most of the concepts you're probably familiar with. Parallel lines never cross, the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius. But what happens when this flat plane that we know and love is no longer flat? Welcome to the realm of non-Euclidean geometry, where things get pretty weird. For instance, in non-Euclidean geometry, the shortest path between two points is no longer a straight line. It's something called a geodesic, which could be a curved trajectory between two points. We deal with geodesics all the time because we live on a curved planet. For instance, if I wanted to travel from my home in Seattle, Washington, to visit my family in Copenhagen, Denmark, the flight wouldn't be a straight line, as one might expect. The flight would actually follow a curved geodesic trajectory, because the Earth is a sphere. Lots of weird properties start to arise when we're dealing with non-Euclidean geometries. The circumference of a circle will no longer be pi times the radius. The sum of a triangle's angles won't add up to 180 degrees, and two lines which may appear parallel when zoomed in will actually eventually intersect. Going back to our home planet, we see this all the time. The lines of longitude, which appear parallel and a zoomed in part of the map, all intersect eventually at the North Pole and at the South Pole. So now that you know a little bit about non-Euclidean geometry, let's see if you can solve this riddle. A nature photographer walks 10 yards south, 10 yards east, and 10 yards north. He ends up back where he started and takes a picture of a bear. What color is the bear? In standard Euclidean geometry, this would be impossible. You could never walk 10 yards south, 10 yards east, and then 10 yards north and end up back where you started. However, because of the special property that all lines of longitude intersect at the north and south poles, there is only one place on Earth where the photographer could walk 10 yards south, 10 yards east, and 10 yards north and end up back where he started. It would be the North Pole. Thus, the bear he sees must be a polar bear and it must be white. Curved geometries and geodesics aren't just seen on our three-dimensional planet. They're also seen all the time in the cosmos due to the four-dimensional curvature of space-time. Light rays traveling through space always travel the shortest possible distance between two points. In flat space, these light rays would travel along straight lines like we're used to. But massive objects like stars and black holes have enough gravity to curve the fabric of space-time, much like placing a weight on fabric causes it to warp. Thus, the geometry of space-time around these massive objects is non-Euclidean so light rays that pass nearby will travel on curved geodesic trajectories. This gravitational bending of light is responsible for a phenomena called Einstein rings. In these cool phenomena, light coming from a star directly behind a massive object bends around the object, creating a smeared ring effect. So always remember, getting from point A to point B may not be as easy as following a straight path. If you encounter some twists and turns along the way, it's just because we're all non-Euclidean people living in a non-Euclidean world.